All right, good afternoon. It's August 31st, 2012. This is Thomas Keegan with libertarianprogressive.com uh, where you'll find interviews of um, candidates uh, you might not hear from in the mainstream media. Um, uh, basically, to start out of a premise, uh, you, you know, to start the story out, I mean, to set the theme, we are in a time where we've been at war for the longest period in our country's history, over 10 years. Um, we're facing budget deficits where 40 cents out of every dollar is uh, borrowed money, where we paid interest to a private uh, Federal Reserve Bank. Um, our civil liberties, our Bill of Rights that's guaranteed in our Constitution, the first 10 amendments are um, on the endangered species um, list. And uh, But there is hope. Um, there always is hope. Um, we're not out of it. Of course, you can hear this interview. It, it's um, We don't necessarily need a whole uh, overhaul but uh, in, in some ways but we, we this country started out on, on on promises and principles that have needed to be fought through all through the civil rights era and everything I mean everything's evolved but um, it, it, nowadays the revolution's electronic one we can um, communicate across the world in a in, in a nanosecond and um, and we, we can send tweets and, and be very informed, although there's a large population of our uh, populace that still gets most of their information from uh, the quote-unquote mainstream media where they're only presented with two options for every single situation. And I'm here to uh, prove to you that you have more than two choices, um, and sometimes lots more, uh, sometimes... Um, uh, just whatever it is, but um, it's, we can't make a fully informed decision unless, you know, we know all of our choices. And so right now I have the um, uh, uh, pleasure to talk to uh, uh, Pat Riley. He's um, running uh, as a uh, congressional representative um, in, uh, in Tennessee, um, and uh, you're running against... Um, uh, Diane Black, uh, and Scott Beasley, um, and for, that's for District 6, and as a Green Party candidate, um, and Pat, it's great to talk to you, uh, and how are you doing today, sir, and what got you motivated to run? Um, I mean, I guess, do you sense an urgency, or is this something that, you know, you want to make a career out of yourself, or, or what, what's, and I say that in jest, I mean, but what's the, um, I, I guess, uh, yeah, the reason behind um, you, uh, running for Congress, sir. Yes. Well, thanks for the interview. Well, um, I think Ron Paul is, uh, is the long and the short of it. Ron Paul got me really fired up, um, just him being himself and speaking his message about the Constitution and getting um, rid of the, the big government and all the big spending and and taxes and all of that, so uh, he, he, he drew me in, and uh, I'm a Ron Paul fan now. <laughs> yeah, the accumulation of power, right, um, and uh, some special interests that um, don't deserve it. Mm-hmm, absolutely. Right, well, well, Ron, that's neat that you said that, is you're in the Green Party, and, and you're a big fan of Ron Paul, and, um, I mean, just like, I mean, I'm, and, you know, just like some people that are in Libertarian Party or, or Republicans can be a big fan of, like, you know, Dennis Kucinich or Bernie Sanders, other independent-minded people that are in our Congress right now. And, um, and you know, the issues are so big now where, I mean, that's, I mean, I guess if a media person was interviewing you like a typical one, they would say, you know, but that doesn't fit into the box like Ron Paul you're a Green Party you can't support Ron I mean like Ron Paul because yeah, he's exactly. a libertarian it's a it's a, a pretty fresh idea I, I basically um, am using Ron Paul's platform and um, if elected I would be deferring to, to his his platform and his colleagues you know that, that run um, with a like mind in, in Congress and try to um, team up with them and um, build coalitions um, if necessary that way. And um, I, I would I would think Rand Paul uh, would have uh, a lot of similar views since uh, Rand is the son of Paul, right? So um, I would I would try to work with Rand as well. And since I'm um, in Tennessee and Rand is in Kentucky, uh, that's kind of nice too. Yeah, and, and maybe and that's right. You're next door neighbors, and um, and I, I mean. 
and maybe you'll have, um, you, you know, uh, like I guess I have a dream, and, and, and what that is is that, um, and this is just for 2012, 2014, maybe even more, but, uh, you, you know, to have at least double digits um, numbers, like right now we only have one or two, well, we have probably about, I don't know, a handful of good representatives in there. I'll, I'll give some people that, but, I mean, imagine having, you know, um, how, 50 um, independent and third-party candidates elected to Congress. Um, and I'm not talking about some, like, you know, weird parties here. I mean, people that believe in the Constitution um, that are actually in Congress, um, you, you know, that, that make legislation about the Constitution. I, I, that would be a game changer. That would be almost um, a, a spark to possibly a new renaissance in a way of thinking and as well as actual practical policies go. And so I guess let's get to the issues. I mean, because Ron Paul does have a platform, which I think, um, you know, he did reach out to a lot of people uh, across the spectrum. I mean, he said he was going to cut the budget. I guess that's the number one issue. Um, but he wasn't going to start, you, you know, uh, cut people's Medicare payments and Social Security. Actually, if you look at his budget, he was... Um, someone that would probably preserve it. It's probably, you know, Obama or Romney and, and, and the like that um, are going to, unfortunately, they're the ones who say they want to save it, but they always do the opposite of what they say. And Ron Paul actually, believe it or not, passed, uh, I mean, introduced a bill in the late 90s, and this is Ron Paul, for all you progressives listening, he introduced a bill that would um, make sure that the Social Security was put into, I, I mean, that none of the funds in its trust fund would be spent um, to, to, to protect the tr Social Security trust fund. So um, so th there's sometimes more than meets the eye, and sometimes people have to, you know, speak somewhat politically, even though, you know, he is a breath of fresh air. And uh, so, I mean, what, what do you feel about the, um, uh, you know, our budget, taxes, economy? Let's talk, you know, about money here for a little bit. <laughs> well, we, uh, we've been spending way beyond our means. And, um, it, and, and not just the government, but the people, too. I, I, and I think it's time everybody um, has to stand up and, and take responsibility for, for the country. But do you think the I mean, everybody encourages every people to do that in some? Well, oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Because they're in bed with all the financial institutions and the media and everything, and it's all um, it's all a big scam. And uh, but 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 the people have to have to stand up and say, hey, enough is enough. I've been spending way beyond my means as well, not just the government, and um, and, and start cutting back. But you have to have big money. I mean, that's everyone's argument. It's not going to make a difference anyway, and you have to have big money. Um, well, um, that attitude is not making a difference. I mean, all, the thing is here, we don't have to do the same things that our founding fathers did or the people did in the Civil Rights Movement. All we have to do is get up or, or get a, a, a by-mail vote. I mean, all we have to do is vote and, um, and maybe call our Congress people once in a while um, uh, you, you know, put up flyers and, and support some um, candidates who will represent us. Um, I mean, that's what we have to do, and we can start at Congress. Like I said, imagine having 50 people in Congress that represent us that have a mark of being um, an independent or third party, so that way the media has to pay attention to that, too. It's not just going to be um, good Republicans and Democrats. This is like... Um, and and I'm, I'm I'm just gonna make one more point here is that um, you, you know for the last like 10 or 20 years we've been voting the lesser two evils we've been having a Congress that's majority Democrat and then majority Republican and, and the media I, I, pundits I hear say like you know why the people don't seem like they know what they want so, well they're just trying to avoid both of them as much as possible and we don't want any of them to stay in too long because we easily remember um, it's getting quicker and quicker to remember why we voted the last party out and um, and so something's got to give I mean we're at I mean are we at the point where something's got to give I mean the, um, I mean, the, the atmosphere is getting real close. I mean, it, it, it's the best it's been. Congress has a 10% approval rating right now, too, uh, which means, of course, 90% don't approve. I mean, if this is ever the time, 
uh, to make, I mean, freedom isn't free, but the best things in life are, and, and that's voting. I mean, it doesn't cost you anything to vote, but I mean, but, but it is priceless. Assuming our, our vote counts. <laughs> Yeah, we can try. I mean, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll either punch in a ballot or we'll press it on an electronic screen, right? And um, so, yeah, I, But maybe it can be so overwhelming. I mean, the, you know, so we send in so many people. Um, in almost every district, there's an independent third-party candidate um, that it, it says that it will take their oath to the Constitution seriously. So it can't be just any third party or, or independent person. But if we send in enough people in there, um, and, and we're all conscious around the country this year to vote that way. I mean, maybe we can get enough through, you know, um, and m maybe not everyone will make it. Maybe some more will make it in 2014. But, I mean, you know, let's just send everyone out there like like a big flock of geese or whatever, and, and some of us are going to make it through. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so, I, I mean, if, if even if you are in Kentucky, you can support you by, I mean, so, oh, I, I would vote for you if you were in my district, is some of the other things I hear. Um, give give him some money. Um, give Send some money to Pat Riley. Um, uh, uh, call the, the local news station. Say, why aren't you doing an interview with him? Um, uh, you, you know, if you belong to a meetup group or you're an event coordinator where you can have a town hall, um, uh, you know, invite him. I mean, what, that would be pretty way fun way to spend the weekend. I, I mean, some nights, you, you know, in a big town hall, and um, people can sit back and have a barbecue and, and listen to a speech from yours, and then engage by having lots sure. of Q and A questions and answers and things like that, and and both people learning from each other. Yeah, I invite anybody out there listening. I don't care what state you're from or what country, really. <laughs> if you. Uh you want to engage and you want to discuss I mean, you like Ron Paul, but he's hand. from Texas, right? That didn't prevent you from liking Ron Paul, right? It's just because oh, he's yeah. from and, Texas. And he's a Republican, too, and traditionally, I Republicans have been the, far, the farthest from my political list um, just because I've, I've always been a Green Party person, but I, I, I was so voting Democrat at the time. between the Green Party, you know, quote-unquote progressives, liberals, and Ron Paul. I mean, what are those common links that, that y y you know, where he could possibly even have run on the Green Party? What, what do you think those common links well, are? Well, I'm not, I'm not so sure that um, there is a big connection uh, between the two. Um, I just happen to be crazy about, uh, you know, the, the, a green lifestyle and a, a, um, a green existence and a sustainable one at that, not just uh, break everything on Earth just for, for our human needs and our material. Cool, um, cool. That's really, I like that too. I mean, I, I can tell. I've I've looked up on the internet like thatch houses and and sustainable living, solar. Um, you know, for yourself. I mean, uh, being more independent. I mean, inst a lot of people are focused on how can we increase incomes for people. Um, how about also maybe we can have some projects where we can you know, protect people's private property and, and help them reduce costs um, and, and allow them to, you know, build on, on land and, and maybe, um, y y y you know, make it easier to have solar and, and things like that. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And instead yeah, of reducing I mean, expenses. I mean, you know, that that's just as good as uh, having costs. Just like playing golf, if you putt, I mean, it, if it goes over, that's just as bad as if it goes under. I mean, it has to be in there. So, um, I mean, if people... Uh, you know, didn't have as big of electric bill each month. I mean, that's real money each and every month for years and decades. Yep, I'm all about the simple lifestyle, and um, and I'm I'm living it, and have been doing so for close to 15 years now. Um, yeah, Tennessee is um, really cool. I mean, like, so what are some of the cities in um, uh, your district, sir? Oh, geez, it's it's a big area. There's there's Probably hundred over a hundred cities in this. In this I, mean, I mean, like some of the big known places. Oh well, in my area, I just you know I don't spend a lot of time um, exploring the, the district at this point because my odds are so low of winning. Um, if if there was a good shot, I'd, I'd probably be more in tune with those hundred cities or or beyond. But um, I, I'm one hour east of Nashville, and I'm next to a, a lake here called Center Hill Lake. Well, so you're like close enough where if you had a trek out there, you could. And um, 
No, just out of curiosity, so people listening can kind of, you, you know, so, yeah. Uh, no, I mean, th the odds, it, now it's up to the people. I, I mean, it really is. I mean, you might get just elected just based on the fact that you're not a Republican or Democrat this year. If there ever was a year, that could be possible. Oh, yeah, I'm betting on that, actually, uh, um, because the, the interesting thing about this uh, candidacy and me being in the race is there's no Democrat in this race, right. in this district, and that's pretty rare, I understand. And I'm going up uh, against an incumbent Republican, and I'm not so sure how much she's like. She's a conservative Republican. And I don't, I, I've been told that the media is not really crazy about her, but but yet uh, I have yet to be interviewed. Uh, I, I've never got a call uh, from anyone other than you about an interview. And, um, you know, it's just kind of a crime, really. But That is a crime. Well, um, I mean, if, uh, it, you know, it's like it's disrespectful to the readers of whatever uh, media they belong to. Um, I mean, not to want to, you know, give their readership a fully informed decision. It's almost like they're treating them like... Um, like kids or, or something and, and actually they wouldn't even treat their kids that way I, I, I guess um, I mean it's it's pretty rotten to the core um, now yeah you're running against Diane Black um, and um, let's we'll look up a little bit about her here in a second but um, so I mean that's that's one way I think you could win I, I mean but another thing is I mean you do have yeah, it's I, I, the, you know, I, I, some I, things you I, stand I, on yourself, though. I mean, that people could look forward to, right? I have issues that I can stand on. Is that what you said? Well, I'm I'm saying that people. I mean, you might get elected that way, but at the same time, I mean, you do bring something to the table that I mean, people don't have to feel like, oh, I'm just selecting someone as a protest vote. They can actually feel good that. Um, that you, you, you know, the, the, it, it's not just going to be a protest vote, but actually will be a positive vote. I think. Oh, it's a way positive vote. It's the smartest thing that they could ever do, actually. Um, you know, because uh, who's, who's, who's got more insight to the to the game than Ron Paul? And basically, I'm just a, a mirror, a reflection of him. Not only that, I, I was even bumping up a level. I, I'm, I have a green outlook on my uh, on my world and my my life and. And uh, our country, and the world, yeah, the whole world for that matter. I, I generally don't just think nationally; I think internationally, and um, and in, in green themes. And so, you know, if we can, if we can all work together, not only in this district, but in the state, in the country, and the in the world, to to be more fiscally responsible and um, and respectful to the planet. Geez, there's 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 not. Everybody could live the dream, you know, the life of Riley. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, when you're born into this. Simply, I mean, I'm sorry ahead. to interrupt. I'm just gonna say, when you're born into this world, I mean, it's it's you shouldn't be born in like, um, you, you, you know, being owned by special interests or anything like that. But go ahead. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt. Yeah. No, that's okay. Um, yeah, I just I'm just sitting here right now, and in, in my own little world, I've created for myself, and it hasn't been given to me on a silver spoon, but I've, I've worked for it. And I, I'm looking out in this valley, and it's just nothing but trees, you know, green trees. And over the hill is a lake, and to my, to my left is a, a river where there's trout fishing. It's just absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And I feel so privileged to to have um, worked and and got to this place in my life. And I, I just want to share this kind of existence with other people. I want, I want other people, not only just in this country, but around the world, to, to be able to live their dream and, um, and to, to be in nature if, if that's where they want to be. Well, Ron Paul's message was lead by example, have the moral high grounds, um, you, you know, the just war principle. Um, if we have to go to war, trade, become friends with people, engage. He said that there was a... Um, we have a State Department. Um, how come we don't use it? You know, I'm all about Ron Paul, and um, and and thanks to you and my neighbors who who are um, who kind of tipped me off a little bit. But Gary Johnson, I I went to Gary Johnson's page and today and, and listened to his speech at the Ron Paul Fest. Yeah. Have you seen that? I have seen it. Yeah, he was he was actually on a little bit on fire there more than I usually see him. I mean, people should watch that. He was uh, a little pumped up. 
Yeah, that's my latest post on my Facebook. And um, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, wow, this is one of those sacred moments here, and um, I'm definitely sharing it. So if anybody's out there listening, they can they can check out my Facebook page because I spend a lot of time on Facebook. Well, there have been exciting times in history where people work together for positive change, like the American Revolution, the Civil Rights Movement, um, I don't know, maybe the beginning of the century, last century, where they, uh, you know, there's all these inventions and kind of things like that in writing and, and poetry and, and all these new ideas. Um, and, you know, um, the, the, I guess this century didn't quite start out, um, I think, as people had planned, um, you know, the 21st century. But, um, I mean, we don't even have to go by centuries. It's just a number. But... Uh, yeah. It, 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 and I'm glad, I mean, it sounds like you're an independent thinker, um, and that's, you, you know, what's lacking in, in Congress right now, one thing. And um, and imagine just a bunch of people being elected, how that would just change the whole paradigm of how people see the world. Um, and oh, how, it changed the world. Yeah. Because it, everybody's looking to America anyway. They you know, are, and all I mean, a lot of countries would be like, you know, um, a lot of countries, you know, you bet if you watch international news or whatever, after November seventh, they they would be cheering in the streets too. Yeah. What about what about Dylan Radigan? Oh have you, yeah, I've seen. Have Dylan you seen his rant? He is the best. If, if you haven't, he's on MSNBC. He's a financial news person, so he's not like the regular news, but he's a financial news guy. But man, he is. Um, I mean, he's had a couple rants. You can find it on YouTube. And uh, I know. Dylan Radigan, he, he should run. I mean, he is a, he's like a modern-day Benjamin Franklin or, or something like that. And what's, his, and what's his position? Basically getting the money out of politics. Yeah, getting the money out of politics. Um, I, I, and I, making I, it less irrelevant. I mean, the same thing. It, it's like I think, you know, maybe there could be an election channel where, um, where if you are on the ballots and you have a, or if you have a statistical chance of winning, you're guaranteed to be in the debates on this election channel. You're guaranteed to have the equal amount of coverage for the rest of the 24-7 on this channel. And mm -hmm. um, everyone has to be in the debates given the same time and ask the same questions. Yeah, I think I think they should get the money out of um, the campaigns too. All that, uh, you know, big money because that just it just corrupts the system and it makes it totally unfair to somebody that may have brilliant ideas but just might not be bought, you know, with the big money, and they can't get the mess they can't get their message out. Like me. Well, if you I, were elected, I, I mean, you would probably try to do things to give voice to other people that were running and um, that you know that you agreed with and uh, and. Um, try to give some attention and, and lights um, onto uh, you know, our election systems and, and like electronic voting. I don't, I, I don't like um, that because I grew up in the computer age, I guess, and I know how easily manipulated like, um, you know, digital media is. And I, I honestly, I don't feel comfortable, you know, having our votes done, you know, uh, electronically like that. Yeah, neither do I. I, I. I listened to one of your earlier interviews that you did, uh, I think, last week or something with the guy from Florida. Yeah, um, yeah. There's been a couple people. I, I, I just, I, uh, but yeah, I, I, I'll try to remember. Yeah. Yeah, what was his name? Uh, well, there was a oh. Kellen Fretz. There's a Chris Borgia. There's a Chris Borgia. Um, he was running for Senate in Florida. It's Kellen Fretz. He's running as Libertarian um, in the in northern part of Florida. Um, the guy that has the No Party Association. Uh, oh. Um, John, um, let's see. Actually, let me go back to there. Um, <laughs> You're busy. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's, well, I hope to have at least 50 interviews by November 7th. John Russell, um, that was... John a, Russell, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys were talking about this, uh, you know, electronic uh, voting issue versus paper uh, Yeah, that's right. Voting. I remember that, yeah. Yeah, and I, I, I'm for that, too, because, um, like I, I read today online, uh, I think it's Stalin that said uh, it's not... Um, he who votes that counts, it's he who counts the votes. And, um, you know, I, I have done a little research on that, too. And, and the uh, the person that's doing the counting or the, the software that's doing the counting, that could be manipulated, too, I, I think. And so has, I'm real leery. I'm real leery. In Congress, people can also find easily, just type into your favorite search engine, um, 
congressional testimonies on um, uh, electronic voting, and, and and they've brought in like scientists and uh, professors showing how how easily like a teenager buying just a couple parts from Radio Shack can uh, you, you know alter the uh, results of uh, the elections for these electronic voting machines. Yeah, so that that's uh, that's not um, that's not too soothing either. It's, it's disheartening and. Um it's kind of unfortunate, but we still need to press on. Yeah, I mean, like I said, if we send enough people, then and then we'll eventually get a couple that get through, you know. And, um, and it's going to take more. It's going to take more than a couple, but uh, at some point, the pendulum will swing. Hopefully. Oh, it will. Least, I mean, uh, start with. We have to work for it, and maybe someday, a maybe dozen. ten years. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe uh, it'll be the majority in in there that, that are thinking along the lines of Ron Paul. And people uh, with a bigger view of, of uh, our existence, other well, than just, you never the, know. just I mean, the American view. Maybe we'll have a hundred elected. I mean, or two hundred, or three hundred. I mean, it, it's yeah. It, now you're talking. It could. It could happen. <laughs> I'm just it saying. Could I'm just saying, fifty would be enough to cause um, a, a, a revolution, and then in 2014, there'd you know be a lot more. But I mean, yeah. wh wh why? Wh why do we have to wait? I mean, this isn't a game. Um, per se, this is uh, real life. I mean, if we really want to make, like, it wouldn't take me long to walk out of a deal if, um, you know, I was asked to sign on something if I was in the middle of a contract, I would do that immediately. We don't, you know, owe anything to the Republican or Democratic Party, and, and people, like, are apologists for them, um, like, like, we actually owe them something. They don't act like they owe us anything, and uh, so I'm, uh, yeah, is I'm there just, is there anything in the Constitution or otherwise that says there has to be a Democratic and Republican Party? There isn't, but you know what? They act like it because they prevent people from, or they try to prevent people from being on debates. They they they, they try to make um, laws ma making it more difficult for people getting on the ballots and to compete. And uh, yeah, big so, time. Yeah, they, yeah, and, and, I, and, and when I, they get. Nice. Well, I'm sorry. When they uh, just real quick, when they get into the Congress too, when they have subcommittees and committees, um, it, it's all based on which party owns the Congress. Imagine if we um, were all independents or, or had different parties. Like one party couldn't just control like what bills get introduced and things like that either. That that's another thing that they do. You know, what I'd like to like to see. I'd like to see them do it, do away with these these parties. I think they've been partying long enough, and we, we need to start sobering up and, and getting get real and um, getting back getting back to work and um, and start helping our neighbors and um, bring that the whole issue of uh, peace and love back on, on the table. Yeah, we we don't have to. I mean, we can quit any time that we want, and and, and believe me, there's not going to be any withdrawal whatsoever. Um, in fact, you're probably going to feel better than you ever have in your entire life, and um, so. Uh, it, it's 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 we're 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 doing something out of habit. It's not because we're even addicted to it or enjoy it. Um, this is just out of pure compulsion. Um, just being trained to to just uh, you know pull the lever for an R or a D, and um, you know it's time to uh, to think outside the box and 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 get a different perspective. Um, being um, aware of uh, all our choices and. Um, so I mean, so so I mean, r running on Ron Paul's platform, I mean, that kind of makes it easy to go over these issues, I guess. I mean, he definitely is big on civil liberties, um, and uh, I mean, he was against the Patriot Act. I mean, he's basically for all, all the things that are in our Bill of Rights and our Constitution. Um, you know, be, living in a being born into a society where you're presumed innocent until proven guilty. I mean, that sounds so beautiful to the ears, and uh, to to live like that, um, uh, to not experience illegal searches and seizures of our property, personal records, persons, without an independent judge's approval, to not incriminate oneself, to you know, if you're going to be charged of a crime, to know the charges, the evidence, the accuser, as well as being accountable to a jury of our peers, um, to a right to a fair trial, no cruel and unusual punishment, due process, um, and, and et cetera. I, I mean, that's, that's like we've made progress in the last thousand years um, since the Magna Carta, and, and, and it's, it's evolved to the Constitution and, and the Bill of Rights. And, um, and 
I mean, we it's right now it's kind of, it's endangered. We've passed laws which we didn't even amend the Constitution, like the Patriot Act and the NDAA, um, which violates those very things that I just mentioned. Um, so now people are born into a place where they could be indefinitely detained, um, not know their charges against them, the accusers. Um, uh, and no one would even know what happened to them, um, and they, you know. Yeah, if people, if people don't sober up, um, it could get real ugly, and uh, they need to wake up, every everybody, and um, and realize that we're at it. We're at a critical point in time, and if we keep if we keep spending like we have been, and everybody kind of milking off the the government, and uh, thinking the government is our Lord and Savior. Um, we're destined to, to not have a country. I mean, somebody, uh, I think, in, during your interview said, we might not even have, or, or uh, the uh, libertarian from New Mexico, said we, we might wake up and, and not have a country. We'll probably be taken over by the Chinese or someone without them firing a shot, and we'll be, we'll be Chinese. Yeah, we'll be taken over by, uh, like, within, I, I mean, it, it's um, not by any armed forces or anything, but by our economics, probably, yeah. Um, it doesn't have to be that way. It's not like we it need... It doesn't have to be that way. We don't need an overhaul. I mean, we have the infrastructure there. Um, we have the resources there. We have the foundation yep. already there. Um, so, yeah. So, so that, that makes it even more critical that... that that we're so close, but yet so far. I mean, yeah. we could we could turn we could turn things around if people um, stand up and and do the right thing and become educated on really what's going on. But sometimes you got to read between the lines or dig a little deeper than what first appears on Google. You know, because that's generally from the major media, and they're just trying to brainwash you with the status quo. Yeah, and, I mean, um, and, 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 and kind of. You want to get a couple opinions on each story. I, I always do, you know. I mean, I'm not going to, you know, I'll try to find like three or five different um, opinions on, on one thing, you know, at least. Sometimes Absolutely. like 20 or, or, you know, more, but it just depends. And, and what people that are listening out there can do or watching, you know, uh, is share this information. I mean, I, I, I've, I've been trying to share goodness and, and righteousness and peace and love for four years, you know, or, or my whole life, really, musically, because I'm a singer-songwriter here outside of Nashville. Yeah, I heard and, your song uh, on your website, by the way, um, and, uh, the, yeah, it was really cool. Um, and so people want to hear that. Um, it's worth listening to. Uh, so um, definitely Patrick, or actually it's just Pat Riley for Congress.com, and right there is... Mm -hmm. um, uh, your campaign song, which you made yourself, right? Yeah, I wrote it with a buddy, cool. uh, Donnie Bartholomew. And, um, yeah, we, I encourage everybody to check that out, Pat Riley for congress.com, and uh, there you'll, you will hear um, me playing that song. And it's, a, it's a cool song. And, um, you know, not, not only that, but share, share this information with, uh, with your friends on Facebook. And with your with your parents and your friends and people at church, because uh, this is a this is a golden opportunity to, to get information that you don't hear on the major uh, mainstream media. This is a this is like a breath of fresh air what you're doing here, and it's, I appreciate it and I respect you for doing it. Yeah, it's uh, the, that's I'm at libertarianprogressive.com, and it's also I create a YouTube place where you can see all the videos there as well at uh, youtube.com slash a blast of fresh air instead of just breath it's a whole blast of fresh air and um, so that's what we can do is like um, occupy Congress um, you, you know, the legitimate way just uh, surround it and give it a blast of fresh air um, and with our voices and um, I'd in, in restore it so, I mean just uh, you, you, you know um, Get get all the uh, special interests um, out of there, and uh, so I mean, so as far as so civil liberties is a very important thing. I mean, did did, did you know that um, one of the people that you're running against, uh, who is a Republican, um, uh, she voted for the um, NDAA. Um, her last name's uh, yeah Diane Black. Um, I just looked up the NDA voting record. Now, the NDAA itself, the National Defense Authorization Act, it's passed each year. By itself, it's just a spending bill. But as we all know in Congress, they attach like different things to it. Um, 
And so one of the things they attached was um, to uh, recognize this Congress, which Diane Black voted for, um, to, you know, to give President Obama and any other presidents um, after him the right to uh, indefinitely detain American citizens, um, to break the Posse Comitatus Act, which has been around since the Civil War, where yeah. the military can police the streets and also, um, you, you know, not only be indefinitely detained, I mean indefinitely, without any reason or um, knowing the, uh, you know, evidence against them, no way to see it lawyer i mean just basically just plucked up i'm um, just kind of like an alien abduction basically and, and 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 never heard from possibly again and uh and who knows what's would be done to them um yeah like somebody like you yeah yeah we allowed well well we put in the laws to allow that um now i mean now well what's really free um so are we really free or or not um it's not just the laws but it's also it's also um, are we free to uh, do what we believe um, and, and live free? Um, and so that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm living free, and, uh, and and so I'm already free. I mean, no matter what happens, I'm I'm free. And uh, so I mean, that's the only. If, if you're not, then you're. I would say you're already dead. You know. And um, yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and so it's it's so we free to not care what others think um and and free to you know know all your options and explore those options to be able to um uh give you, you, you know satisfy a curious mind that that wants to know about things that likes to you know read encyclopedias that that, that likes to learn from history and uh you, you, you know i mean that this is like you're saying trying to get that perspective of, about back in nature i mean just a perspective of where we're at i mean we're in, on a on a rock in uh, you know the third planet away from the sun and um and we have a great view of the galaxy on the outer edges and i i mean really i mean that's the perspective when we're born i i mean it's it's we sh should be in future generations should be born into a place where um uh that they're free i mean it's it's life short i i mean or most lifespans have been short on this earth i mean throughout history and, and who knows i mean there could be life hereafter but um but it's uh i mean i i think and, and people are just trying to control other people uh, and uh and they're spending their lives on that instead they're short-sighted because there's something that they everyone i mean everything we're talking about should in be better for most people i mean if you think about most businesses it would be better for us to stop these um, unnecessary wars fight them if you have to like theodore roosevelt said speak softly but carry a big stick and um he actually won the nobel peace prize because he um uh put together an agreement between i think russia and japan before world war one eventually went to world war one but before that he actually prevented that i mean he's he was a peacemaker and um and uh, so, I mean, there's... You know, just... it's, it, you know it's, it's interesting that Ron Paul was, was lucky enough to break through somehow, some way, to, to, to be heard. I mean, it, he didn't lose a tire in his car and crash into a wall. Are you with me? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm here with yeah. you, yeah. And, 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 and he fortunately made it to the national debates. And most people, although he doesn't look like um, Mitt Romney, you know, and he's, he's, he's older... He, he, he still, and he's not as uh, fluid of a speaker, he was able to get this, these ideas out. And he did create uh, somewhat of a revolution, but it wasn't enough steam, evidently. He, to, he did. I mean, he's to, great. To break. He's so a hard basically, worker. Yeah, he, he wakes so up early in the morning, but the people also did it. It wasn't just him. It was the people that... Yeah, 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 the people. But he, 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 he basically planted a seed in my... In my um, in my mind, and now we have to we have to um, tend uh, the crop. Basically, we got to water the seeds, and we need to make sure that they're protected. and um, And we need to, to, to work and, and, and nurture this this philosophy because obviously he's not going to be president. And so we need to keep this this kind of uh, spirit alive uh, of of renaissance in a better way. 
Yeah, he did phase and, uh, one, basically. I mean, he, like you said, started it. Now, I mean, there could be lots more like him once those all sprout up. I mean, we could have, you know, hundreds of Ron Pauls. I mean, when you think about the early foundation, I mean, you think about people like George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, Frederick Douglass. We have a lot of people like that nowadays. I mean, we probably have more per capita um, of uh, people running. I mean, if you go to the Libertarian Party website, if you go to the Green Party websites, I mean, there's tons of candidates running nowadays. I mean, uh, yeah. there's tons. And you know what? And, and you know what? Uh, even even of Democratic, uh, uh, Democrats or Republicans, you know, I, I believe in my heart that those are good people, too. And they all have big... Uh, beautiful dreams as well, and they, they, they really want what's right, but the system is corrupt. The money has corrupted the machinery that, that, that cycles everything, that creates our, our civilization here, in America and, and the world for that matter, and, and they're dealing with a dysfunctional system. Oh, I, 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 I don't argue that. I don't want to say get sucked like... Up into the, they get sucked into the system, and, um, and they get corrupted, and they don't know any better. And they just—they just—they uh, just—they they, they become sheeples instead of peoples, and they just follow like a herd, and they play the game. They—they they think they—it's like a t football team or something. It's one side against the other, the Democrats against the Republicans, and they—and they just constantly uh, keep lining up at the line of scrimmage and keep you know, plowing into each other, and, and they're not getting anywhere. Well, let's say if, if you were a movie actor and, um, and you hired an agent and, um, and they botched up a deal where you're going to get, like, let's say, a $10 million book contract and, and, and the agents just, um, you, you know, just total, and that was something you would be totally interested in, and, and, and they just totally messed it up and, uh, and, and just ruined that, uh, uh, you, you know, contract together, you would probably fire them. I mean, they could be a nice person. They could have good intentions. I mean, that's basically what um, our government has done. I mean, she, now, she voted for the NDAA, um, and that's some serious stuff. That's We're talking about indefinite detention and, um, and, and taking away our, our Bill of Rights, I mean, without even amending the Constitution. And, uh, and, and they put us in a trillions of dollars of a debt to special interests. I mean, our troops are fighting uh, side by side to contractors are getting paid 10 times how much they're getting paid. And, um, y you know, they're selling us out to overseas banks. Um, our Federal Reserve is giving loans to the, over there, but, um, and they'll bail out the banks. But I guess it's when the people are getting evicted from their houses. Um, they could have just given the money to the people so the people could have paid the banks. But I guess they, you, you know, uh, didn't want to do that. They'd rather just let everyone lose their houses so they can buy everything up for pennies on the dollar. Um, I mean, um, I mean, th there's a little bit of negligence and naivety in Congress, I think. But, I mean, that's, you know, I mean, it's, um, it's, it's almost like, uh, I don't know, I think it's almost a, um, it's almost contempt to be that uh, naive, you know? Yeah, it's, 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 it's crazy, but, but thanks to people like you and, and people like me that are trying to go against the grain and, and, and show the world uh, perhaps a, a better uh, template, a better platform, and thanks, you know, to Ron Paul and I mean, people are afraid of losing their job. That's the thing. People are invested into the system. Like, um, the media is invested into the system. Like, like if we don't have the Republicans and Democrats, the, the back and forth, like, hardball shows and stuff like that, we're going to go out of business. If we don't get the advertising from GE, which is totally... Oh, whatever. Like, they, we, could, we, could fly, we could flush all that down the toilet like one big, big one and, um, and not... not not miss a beat in the world would be a lot better. Ninety-five percent of, of businesses would be for this. Um, I, I mean, so I, I mean, a lot. Ninety-five percent of businesses would be better off if our dollar was uh, more strengthened. If the consumers could spend better. If we were in a freer society. If if we had the best minds wanting to come to the U.S. like they used to want to do. Now you know, places people are trying to go to Canada and, and other places yep. instead. Yep. And we're cutting uh, our own throats. Is, is what's going on. And as long as people don't stand up and uh, and be be counted and, and start you know voting for fresh new people instead of all these incumbents and all the same old same old business as usual crap the same little crap, same slogan uh, change you know we we're going to bring change so vote Republican we're going to you know bring change and a better way vote Democratic that is it it ain't working it hasn't worked and. Um, 
you know, we need we need some fresh blood, and we need independents, and we need Green Party people, and we need libertarians, and um, and people that that are not even affiliated with a party. And like you said, we need to to get those numbers up in Congress, and um, and start putting some, some pressure on uh, on the on the, the big the big wigs that are controlling the puppet in this country and, and in the world for that matter. And that's the big money. Yeah, it takes some assertiveness. Um, actually, live life. Um, you know, uh, this this is a you know a new frontier here in a, in a sense, um, but but a 21st century one. And like you said, we're so close to, to either way of uh, uh, going down in a spiral of destruction or um, y you know building on on what we have and and the things that we've learned and um, mm -hmm. you know being cool, calm, and collective, but also assertive at the same time. Yep. Um, and uh, so, so I, I hope you know. I mean, the, you're an hour away from Nashville. I mean, I'm sure there's you know. I mean, that's a happening town. I'm sure there's people there that uh, you, you know want to support you and um, and yeah. want to get behind your campaign. I mean, because I mean, we're lucky to have people like you um, right now, um, or and all the other people on the ballots that that are giving us this choice. Um, we don't have to just. Um, knee jerkly you know choose the lesser of two evils especially at the you, you know i mean some people you, you know go ahead and ha have your arguments about the, i i say here i mean i i'd like to see gary johnson elected too but i mean but here's the, the arguments here at least in the congressional ones we, we we don't have to do that there um we can actually have a house of representatives that actually represents us and uh so um, now let me ask you real quick. It's something I've asked a lot of people here, but just like to get your opinion. I mean, um, do you have any past favorites? Uh, people in history could be politicians or or not, um, Pat, and and why? No, people people that I look to and, and aspire to be like. Yeah. That, 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 like that, that. thing. That no, I, I'm really not. Uh, I really don't get get lost in history. Uh, I'm not really a big history fan. I'm just. Uh, I'm in the present. I'm right here, right now, kind of guy. And uh, so, no, um, I don't. I don't read history books. I don't really read political books too too much either, uh, for that matter. I'm, I never thought I'd, I'd be a, uh, be running uh, for, for a political office. I don't even like the word political because it's so it's so tarnished. The word politics. Just, I understand what you mean, but bad, like bad you're actually. In my mouth putting yourself like in the um, same kind you, you know and and politics it wasn't always was what what, what it once was I, I mean isn't what it once was I mean you know a long time ago I guess and um, uh, a time far ago I mean George Washington you know like grew hemp I mean that's the kind of politicians that we had um, we, we didn't have the type of uh, politicians we do now that um, are like a plastic Ken doll types that just are, are tape recorders, you know, and um, and are definitely puppets. Uh, oh, totally, they they are. They they, they don't know it, but um, and they, they they may know it too that they're 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 being bought and they're and people are just doing it for the money and for the the prestige and for the parties that they get invited to and. And you know, I, I'm hanging out with this pretty person over here, and they're with the Republican Party. And they get, you should see their house; it's so beautiful, and uh, oh, their family is so wonderful. And uh, that stuff just, you know, and people people get sucked into all that little glitter and the, yeah. the dinner party and the cocktail party and the bling, and the, yeah. and the bling, the bling, the bling, yeah. And, cha -ching, cha -ching, and we're paying for a convention where we know. Um, I, I mean, I guess uh, at least the Democratic convention. I mean, do we even have to have a convention there? I mean, it's it's. You could argue the Republican one too, although that wasn't conducted under the the laws of the convention um, with Ron Paul and, and stuff. Um, but um, I mean, it's it's it, they, they're taking us for granted. In, in other words, I mean, they, they, they oh, they totally are. Yeah, they're, they're they're totally working. They're, they're working the system and they're winning. They're seeing how much and, they can uh, get away they, with. Yeah. Oh yeah, they just shut down. They just threw away delegates from Maine, wasn't it, or Massachusetts? It was Maine um, and Massachusetts, actually. Yeah. That's um, a crime. Those guys should be. Those guys talk about uh, the uh, the court system. Those guys should be on trial. Yeah, I mean, it's, talk it's, about all these other people smoking pot or, or 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 something like that, and they put them in jail. And then these these, these, these guys are freaking these guys are ripping off the whole country and blind. 
Yeah, they're they're still in people's vote. I, I mean, it's 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 a votes. Um, that's that's just yeah, as this, valuable. This should, this should be a, this should be a national travesty. This should be the, the, this should be like on every news channel. This is a this is against the dang law. This is not right. You well, don't we hear need to about have this. people in Congress that are going to put up uh, band up and say like enough is enough. We're blowing the horn here, folks. With the bus is stopping, get off the bus. Where we got to see what happened here. That's this right. is this is not right. And investigate and as long as they keep, things like that. Yeah. Oh, big time. And bring the light and not to that. Some in, yeah. And not some internal investigation either, because that's just a crock of bull. You need an independent one, and that needs to be verified. You know what I mean? Because yeah, it's just more corporate it, welfare, basically. Yeah, if if the system investigates itself, what do you think they're going to find? You know, they're going to come up with information that basically protects the the operation. So I mean, anyway. this is not like um. This is this is a true way to um, you, you know enrich yourselves a little bit. Like if I was to have an infomercial, I'd to, to, to try to sell people something. Here's something that's really tangible because your vote, even though it doesn't cost you anything, but um, but possibly your your life to fight for it, the the right to do it. Um, but besides that, um, I, I mean, we, you know, it's illegal to put taxes on, on voting and stuff, of course, and, and, and that's the way it should be. It, it's it's uh, Everyone has a right to vote. I mean, one place where people are all equal is, is in the law. And um, I, we're talking about trillions of dollars that's going on. I mean, and this does directly affect our standard well, of it's living. Like, this, is, this is like a boat. We're like a, we're like a Titanic, and, and we're sinking. We're literally sinking. This country is is on such thin ice, if you will, uh, that it it really is scary. And, and people know that. That's why gun sales have gone skyrocketing and all the ammunition sales have yeah, gone with that. People are nervous and people, uh, it's just it's just very trying uh, times with a lot of people that are out of work and um, they're stressing big time. They got health issues, they're so worried the about the future, they're, they're worried about their mom and dad or their kids. And um, people need to to share this information uh, on their Facebook, hopefully, if they care about America and they care about peace and love and family and American, the American dream, and and let let this word be known that there there are there are there are options out there and there are people that are fighting for for a better way. And you're one of them, and I'm one of them, and I'm and, and our listeners might be on the team too with us, you know, and and working for a better way. I appreciate all those people uh, out there that are listening that are doing uh, the hard work and they're out on the front lines working for a better uh, political system and a better better country, better world. It it, it is going in that direction. I mean, I do, I mean, there are people getting more involved. I mean, hence the Tea Party, hence the uh, Occupy Wall Streets. I mean, the the, the fruits of those um, types of things, those political actions, uh, we have more um, nonprofit organizations. I mean, we have everything from like the ACLU, and and, and there's um, Judicial Watch, and, and and there's tons of different groups like that. Epic. Um, I mean, we, we we have a good foundation. It's like we don't need an overhaul. We have the system there. There are a lot of good people in governments. There are a lot of good people not in governments. Um, and uh, the, w- there's a lot of good people here. It, 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 we we usually are a little slow to react because we're judicious and um, and we're prudent. But at, at this point, I mean, now's the time to act. I mean, oh, when there's now is the time. I mean, how, how many more trillion dollars do we need to be in debt? I mean, how much yeah. more? Uh, how much more do we need to borrow? How many more wars do we need to fight? This can end now, any this, time. Oh, we're just we're just we're just slight for, slice our throat an inch at a time here, and, and we're going to kill ourselves, really. The planet's going to be fine. It'll, it'll go go on, but but this, this human thing, I mean, we're, we're out thin ice. It, okay, George Carlin happen. had a very funny saying on that about the Earth being just fine. Um, he was a <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah. It was, it, it's hilarious. Yeah. And if all those people out there haven't heard George Carlin talk about the environment and uh, <laughs> in our place, that it, uh, you should listen to, to his work, because his work is masterful. Yeah, the Earth's been around a long time. It, it survived the extinction of the dinosaurs. I mean, it's it's it, the Earth is going to be okay. Um, but uh, you, you know, I I mean, hopefully now it's it's um, I, I believe that um, it's it is going to happen. Whether it's two years from now or this year, it, it, I think it 
there's a real possibility. I mean, but I'm not going to predict the future or, or pretend to. It, it's, but there are definitely signs that our people are disgruntled. Hopefully, they see the solution as um, as as being a citizen participant um, and and voting um, because that's you know supposed to be our uh, civic responsibility and our rights. Um, well, in closing here, Pat, um, I mean, it was a pleasure. I, I, it, I think, um, you know, people have a choice to choose uh, someone who believes in the principles of the Constitution, who believes in our Constitution, who I think, um, I mean, you'll take your oath seriously. Is that... Um, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. I, I'm, going, I'm going like I'm going to war. Yeah. I mean, uh, I, I'm going there voluntarily. They, they I want take to, their oaths, I, too. I, I, yeah. I haven't been in the military, and this is basically like going in the military for me because I'm going to fight. Yeah, this I'm is not service. going there. I'm not going, going there to, to sit there. Right. I'm not going to sit and go to cocktail parties and hang out and act like, uh, wow, this is a, a big step up for me. This is not a step up for me. I'm living the life of Riley right now. I'm living the dream, but I, I want to give back and I want to help make this world a better place. So I'm going in there to frickin', uh, to make a splash, and I'm going to shine the spotlight on the corruption. And I'm, you know, I'm going to cut all the big spending, like Gary Johnson. Is that his name from New Mexico? Yeah, Gary Johnson. Yeah, yeah like he said, he voted no on like a thousand different bills that came across his desk. Yeah. And everything was fine, and everything, nothing went, nothing went south. That the economy didn't crash there, and uh, everything was fine. And that's he the way was I'm elected gonna... to, as a two-term governor. And um, and he stepped down because he believed in term limits. He probably could have been elected yeah. again. I, I think that's the way the story went. But he was reelected uh, twice in a row in an yeah. overly oh, Democratic I don't do... state. And he was a Republican. And now he's a Libertarian presidential candidate. Yeah, it's awesome. Totally awesome. I, I wish him I wish him well. And I thank him for his service, of course, Ron Paul. But um, I, I, I'm not into this for getting rich. I'm not in it, into it because uh, I'm looking for... Um, you know, power or prestige or, um, you know, I'd be lying to say I want people to hear my music and maybe someday this will, this will help me, uh, help people connect with my music. Um, but, but it goes way beyond that. I'm doing this, I'm doing this for peace, world peace. I'm doing this for, for love. So people, uh, for the future of America and the future of the planet that we, that we have a better a chance at, at, at succeeding and everybody being healthy and happy and people so people can dance and sing and write like music and poetry and and eat healthy food and and just just be like in a awe with, again with, yeah like a total renaissance just sit there and, and chill and and like bob dylan chilling like bob dylan man just relaxing and enjoying nature and the flowers and the ocean and and just, just all the bounty that we have here on earth it's just like heaven on earth as far as i can see yeah uh, except for all the except for all the corruption and we just have to go after that and that's what i plan to do yeah i mean just being able to go out in the woods and uh and 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 not have um you know some epa regulator telling you you can't do this or that or just being able to you know build land on your property and I have to have permits for every so everything. I mean, I, I guess you know there yeah, could be some exactly. reasonable regulations, but um, sure. but, but you, you know, but being free. I mean, I think we've lost that sense of what it's like to just be able to just. I mean, we should be. I mean, we now of course we want to have police and stuff to protect our rights, but not to. Yeah. Um, but we also need um, them to be professional and and all of that. But but. Sure. We, but but the sense of just being able to drive out into nowhere, being left alone, and just be free out there in nature. I, I mean, how, when is a lot, you know, a lot of, I mean, that's, you know, just being totally free on, on this, uh, in our lives, um, and just being yeah. able to do that. I mean, it's, it's totally awesome. It's totally awesome, and I hope someday it's not against the law. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And at the rate we're going, at the rate we're going, if the system has its way, it, it might be someday, so, uh, People better sober up and, and smell the coffee and uh, start doing digging into the information and learn about Ron Paul, for example. Yeah, Watch his videos. Being out in the Go world to his sense. website at ronpaul.com. It's been sitting, my computer's on my lap right now, and it has been ever since we started. And it's basically Ron Paul's website. And, and if I need to start talking about the issues, um, I, just click on, <clears throat> I just click on the issues, and there they all are. And... Um, well, one and, thing he and, said and, is, and people can do this, and they can they can study what 
what what he's basically saying and others other like mine and it's all right there and and if you don't understand after that then i i don't know what to say but this is this is this is path that's going to lead us to a brighter future and a, a more heavenly experience on earth yeah so i mean you, you that's a good way to explain your platform there and um and uh, and I think you explained it here as well. And, and and Ron Paul said like you know new laws passed should you know increase freedom rather than restrict it. So any new laws should uh, be towards the purpose of extending freedom. Um, and uh, uh, so when we think about passing laws, like does this law you know increase freedoms or do, does it uh, restrict them? And um, uh, and, and, and as you know, he's for a strong defense, but he um, separates the term defense uh, compared to military spending. Um, and so did Dwight David Eisenhower, and, and no one would say he was soft on anything. And, uh, and um, I mean, the civil liberties is a foundation, and I mean, we need people like that in Congress that are going to champion. I mean, so we're talking about Congress here. And, and that's where the money's spent, that's where the laws are passed, and that's where, you know, people get together, debate, have dialogue, and, you know, uh, that's where committees go, and, and there's mm -hmm. investigations and stuff. And, well, um, I guess uh, that's, um, so, so, yeah, that, that makes sense. I mean, it's, um, I, I appreciate your time. Pat, is there anything else I didn't bring up that, that you would like to that, that bring up at this time? If, if not, uh, it's, it's been truly uh, great talking with you. And, and um, so people in Tennessee, I know Tennessee, I've been there like uh, twice. And uh, uh, it's, um, but, you know, I think people are pretty much have the same aspirations everywhere. But, uh, I mean, I, I, I know people in Tennessee, though, um, you, you know, are, have, the true American spirit of the Declaration of Independence, and I mean, I, I don't see, I, I see you as, you, you know, representing that, and I don't see why Absolutely. someone wouldn't want to, to, to you know. Um, I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm on the listeners' team. If they're, if they're listening from, from Tennessee um, or elsewhere, I'm on your team. If you're, about, if you're about wanting peace in the world, I'm on your team. If, you, if, if you're about loving your family and your friends and and, and your animals and, and nature, I'm on your team. And if you're about getting the, the spending in our government under control, I'm on your team. If you're about freedom of religion and you practicing your religion or me, um, how we see fit, I'm on your team. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a fan of yours. Go this ahead and do, do what you want. You know, if you want to start a business, I'm on your team. You know, what, what more is, is there to really talk about? Immigration, we could talk about all these things, but I'm on the team. I'm just I'm just shooting for the the bullseye, the, the the top rung on the on the ladder. I'm not sitting here just going for the middle or the status quo like where everybody else is. I'm going for the top. Yeah, and uh, I mean this is what uh, and and people can help propel you there, um, and um, and then they're actually propelling themselves there um, because absolutely a vote for me is a vote for them. That, that, so, that's right, and keeping you out of the debates is keeping them out of the debates, and um, people need to you know press. The, the newspapers and the media to, to interview you. I don't know if there's any community radio stations there. I mean, people belong to Ron Paul meetup groups, um, need to have some uh, town halls, um, have some speeches, record that, put that on the Internet. Yeah, um, absolutely. And if there's anybody listening that's connected to um, the Ron Paul um, group or contingency here in Nashville, um, by all means, definitely go to my, my page, PatRileyForCongress.com and my Facebook and, and all of that and connect with me and uh, and and if you, you have connections to other people that do interviews, uh, festivals, any kind of uh, major news outlets or whatever, radio stations, I'm there. I'll, I'll go. And thanks to you, you boosted my confidence. <laughs> well, and, and this is a bipartisan people are talking about. I mean, it's it's like Peter saying we need more bipartisans, but not the kind we get from Republicans and Democrats. That, that kind you know, we get um, uh, Medicare prescription bill acts where they can't negotiate the prices, where we get, you know, it seems like, um, you know, record long wars, uh, contracts, bails, bailouts, um, trampling on our civil liberties. But the true bipartisanship is um, a Green Party candidate who um, is running on Ron Paul's record. Now, that's the type of bipartisanship that uh, we need a little bit more of. Um, 
So uh, again, this is Thomas Keaton with TheLibertarianProgressive.com. Um, Pat, I'll say goodbye to you right after the interview. It's uh, been great talking with you, and, and I, I, you know, hope to see you. Um, I, I hope to see, see that you're in the Congress on November 7th. That would be excellent. That would be, that would be excellent. All right, sir. Uh, thanks very much. Thank you.